me, you don't really make a decision when you're in high school, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna become a director of a museum, I'm gonna study um, art history. But I understood when I was a student in, in high school that I had some facility to understand art and to write about art and to communicate to others in a compelling way what I was seeing. Every time I walk in the galleries, I'm always surprised about something or look at a painting in a different way or that day um, that painting speaks to me differently and becomes my favorite one. But I have to say that the heart of the museum, the treasure of the DIA, which I always love and I like to see, are the uh, Diego Rivera frescoes, the, the murals are just unbelievable because they are a masterpiece by the artist in terms of style and accomplishment and monumentality, but at the same time they are an image of the history, of the extraordinary history of Detroit. I, I think the museum has the opportunity now to really connect with the neighborhoods and I'm looking forward to connecting with our African-American uh, community. Detroit and the area has a very high percentage of African-American residents. I, I really want the DIA to be their home, the home of everybody, but uh, you know, for uh, our exhibition, 30 Americans that we were talking about, which was an exhibition about contemporary African-American art, we received 47,000 visitors. We had a goal of 40,000, so we exceeded our expectations. But what is amazing about uh, these almost 47,000 visitors is that 41% of them were African-Americans. And that, that is amazing because, um, uh, generally speaking, our visitation for exhibitions uh, in terms of African-American community is only 10%. So that, that was great. And I think the foundations and um, the others who really uh, helped the grand bargain and helped the city come up of the bankruptcy, they have a very important expectation that the DIA plays a role uh, in the city and in three counties like it has never been before. So we'll move forward in that direction. We, we would like to be involved with our local artists. I don't know how yet, but the idea is that the museum uh, should be open to the art that is being done in our communities. And you know, just to give the example of Detroit, it's, an, uh, it's, a, it's a city that has uh, local artists and also have artists who have come here from other countries and other places because it's an interesting place for creativity. So we want to connect with that. And a way of doing it will be opening the doors of the museum and also by hiring a curator of contemporary art, uh, which we uh, hope to have by the end of the summer. We just started the process to search for uh, the head of this department, and which will have a, a leading role engaging our communities especially in the arts. Uh, we, uh, our curators are also, as I said, our curators are engaged with different art centers. They give lectures and come out. And uh, our studio, the DIA, also collaborates with uh, um, our centers like this one, helping our teaching teachers how to make art for seniors, things like that. So we want to be connected. We want to help with that, absolutely. We are leaders in the country, and I think in the world, in how we interpret our collection and how we do interpretation in, for, permanent, uh, ex for uh, temporary exhibitions, and how our interpreters work with our curators in teams and uh, present the art in a way that is meaningful to our visitors regardless of their background, that they have personal connections with the art that they are seeing, that when they leave the building, they have seen a work of art, they can remember what that meant for them and how that meaning relates to the uh, daily activities, to the things they do today. Mm -hmm.